Assalamu alaikum. Myself, Professor Z, welcome you all on my YouTube channel Code Tutorial. So today we are here to discuss the question paper pattern of TYBMS Operation Research from academic year 2018-19 of University Mumbai. So watch till end to get the complete information about question paper pattern. So thanks to my professors, colleagues and my dear friends. Today we will going to discuss the probable paper pattern decided in the teachers workshop on the eve of new syllabus updation. So basically operation research come for 100 marks. That is 100 marks are divided into two ways. 75 marks will be external plus 25 marks internal. In internal 25 marks minimum passing marks is a 10 marks. In external 75 marks minimum passing marks is a 30 marks. So from current academic year. Operation research 75 marks external paper is framed in such a way that 45 marks will be numericals plus 15 marks will be fixed objective question plus 15 marks will be theory questions. Previously the operation research paper was framed in such a way that question number 1 comes from the unit 1, question number 2 from unit 2, 3, 4, 5 unit wise it was allotted. But from current academic year operation research is frame in such a way that question number one will be the fixed objective question that is for a 15 marks it will be divided into two parts that is question number one a and question number one b question number one a will be attempt any seven or eight of the following question in question number one a there is a probable chances of getting multiple choice questions that is mcqs or fill in the blanks in question number one b again there will be attempt and eight or seven of the following it can be true or false or match the pairs it was first time introduced in your syllabus match the pairs and true or false it will be a vice versa maybe x question number one a will get true or false or match the pair or question number one b can get fill in the blanks or mcqs now coming to the question number two to question number four it will comes for a 45 marks numericals as discussed previously 45 marks will be numerical question it will be a mixed question question number 2a will be attempt the following one question that is case study will come for a 15 marks or question number 2b will be divided into two parts attempt the following 8 marks attempt the following 7 marks again there will be a vice versa so always remember the question number 2 to question number 4 it will be designed in such a way that there will be a mixed question there is no fixed slot that question number 2 will come from unit 2, question number 3 will come from unit 3. It will be a mixed question from unit 1, 2, 3, 4 onwards. And there will be a one fixed question on case study for a 15 marks. So this in this way question number 2 to question number 4 it will come for a 45 marks numericals. Now getting back to the last question question number 1 question number 5 that is a 15 marks will be theory questions. Again there will be a mixed question question number 5 A can be a write a short note any three for a 15 marks or question number 5b will be a two theory questions for eight marks or seven marks now in a theory questions one have to remember that if the question is asked in such a way explain the optimized function for a transportation problem if anyone solve the examples if anyone write the procedure for optimization of a transportation example or assignment problem or simplex matter in just a theory part so maybe such a way that the question was for 8 marks so if he or she write the questions in a steps wise so he or she will going to get 6 marks if you're going to give question plus numerical if you're going to give solve if you're going to write the question along with the numericals so there is a possible of getting the full marks so in theory question always remember while writing the theory questions give numericals also the okay, question number one is given that question number one to first for a optimization of assignment that is column minimization then row minimization then allotment and then check for the number of lines then solve with the one particular example let them know that how a particular example can be solved by by seeing the above procedure if in this way we're going to write the question paper uh, answers for a questions paper so you will going to get a full marks in a theory questions